Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to wherever you are in the world. Hey, how's it going? Today guys, I'm going to jump straight into it. I am doing an updated uh, video of my makeup collection that I currently have at the yeah, moment. Okay. So in each video, I'm going to showcase one brand. One or two, one or two, if I've, it depends how much of this stuff I have. I don't want the videos to be really, really, really long because I did that seven months ago when I did my makeup collection video and it was all over the place. It was insane, it was crazy. My camera was moving around and people didn't like it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah, but I really have been wanting to do this video for such a long time for you guys. And I want to show you guys what I do have in my collection because it's growing. Yes. And yeah, I just want to show you all the new things I have, all the old things, um, just everything. So I'm, I'm an absolute makeup, especially eyeshadow palette collector and I love it. I feel like I'm a collector. Oh, Tonight guys I am going to be focusing on Pat McGrath and all of her palettes that I have um, including blushes and highlighters. I am not in any of these um, videos going to be showing you all of my lippies or lip glosses because there's just too much. Way too much. I might just show you why I say there's too much. <laughs> and it's a lot to put away as well, you know, so. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this and yeah. let's jump on. Okay, my gorgeous peeps, I've switched my lens up just so that you can have a proper look. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you what's inside my shocking drawers and then we are going to, I'm going to sit down with you. It's going to be very quick showing you inside the drawers eh. Okay my peeps, so the first drawer is my concealer drawer. Yes. It has actually turned into more of a, let's have a good look in here eh. We got concealers, Charlotte. So we got concealers in here. So much shit. Um, it's not really the concealers I want to show you and everything like that, guys. It is, it's more of my palettes. So we'll close that up. Shit. <laughs> So this is my Pat McGrath draw now and it has actually turned into a Patrick Ta draw, MAC over there, some other palette back here, which I'm not sure what that is. I'm just taking you quickly through the drawers first. This was my lovely Natasha, Natasha Denona draw. It has now got a little bit of Pat McGrath in it. Nat oh yeah, Natasha's stuff. It also has a bit of NARS in it. <laughs> so, yeah. Not too sure how I'm going to do this video, guys. But I'm going to do it the best that I can. This one here was my... I think it was my NARS drawer. And now it's got a bit of Hindash in it. So, yeah. This has now turned into a Hindash drawer. Um, Two Faced Drawer, lots of other weird things in here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Heaps of NARS down here and NARS over here. Melt, so I have just got a slew of stuff. This one here has got Natasha Denona's palette. I've got Juvia's Place there, Nabla. KKW Beauty, Urban Decay, this was my Urban Decay drawer. Melt Cosmetics over there. Oh, the hell? Hi. Uh, this was my, what was it, Charlotte Tilbury drawer. And now it's got Natasha Denona. Um, and then it's got some NARS, some Too Faced, some. NARS, some Too Faced, Dominique Cosmetics, What's this one, 
Oh, Melt Cosmetic Slippies. The little ones. I'm not a fan of those. Bloody drying. KKW Beauty stuff. There's a palette that's stuck behind there. This one here was my everyday drawer. No, it wasn't. <laughs> what was it? Um, anyway, we've got Violet Boss, small KKW Beauty. I have got some Desi, a dose of colours. Do do do. Viseart Vera, Nars. What are these? Surat. I love these Surat Beauty ones. Very, very cute. Very, very cute. But we'll go through everything because eh? I do want to show you guys everything I have. And I'm actually going to leave it at there. Oh, can't wait to jump into it, eh? Let's go over here. So let's start off with this lovely one here from Pat. This one here is a Mothership 3 Submersive Palette. So let's open her up. Absolutely stunning. Look at it. I love these colours, guys. It's beautiful. What's my favourite colour? I love that one there. And I don't know if you can... Oh. Stunning. Stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. I just... Can you see that reflect? I love it. I love all of her palette. Okay, let's move on, eh? Put that one there. I'm trying to keep organised. <laughs> It's not working. Okay, my peeps. So the next one that we have is this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous beauty here. And this is a Mothership 2. And I think it is so special. Her shades are just... Oh, there's something else. Let me see. Love that. I love that. absolutely beautiful that shift check it out guys i even love this one here and now i'll try and swatch it yeah it's a bit of a sheer one try and get some more on bit of a sheer one it's not really picking up the reflect like those others but oh my gosh guys this palette is just really really beautiful as well <sighs> love it all <laughs> so this one here my peeps is a mothership six i believe and it's midnight sun it's a midnight sun palette it's gorgeous what do you think that purple stunning i'm that gold oh just love it i mean check that out check that out guys oh yeah, these palettes, guys, they're, they're expensive, yes, but they are so worth it. I'm not joking. You can make look after look after look with these palettes, eh? So let's move on. I don't want to be talking too much or else I'll be here all night. This gorgeous beauty here, guys, and it is stunning. Now, this is one of those limited edition ones. It's the Mothership 8 Divine Rose 2. So this was one of the limited edition ones. Uh, love these. I am so, oh, check that out guys. I, I just can't get enough of the reflect, you know? But this is another one. It's so beautiful. The packaging's amazing. I love rose gold. I love anything shiny. So that's one there so this one here is the excuse my dustiness <laughs> this one here is mothership divine rose and i love this palette oh it's so beautiful it really 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 is it's oh that that white and there is you know some of these palettes have got the same um some sh of the same shades in there hey i don't mind that i, I Oh, I'm just, uh, I'm just appreciating getting, look at this one, look at this one. Oh my gosh, put that all over the lid guys and you are just booming, honestly. Love these palettes, they're just so gorgeous. 
Let's see if we can see the reflex. I'll be here all night if I do that. <laughs> but this is another beauty, one of my favourites. This one here. Okay, my gorgeous peeps, another beauty. A little bit of an older one, I believe. And this one here, guys, is the Mothership 4 Decadence. Beautiful, eh? I love that blue. Oh, I love it all, the gold. This taupey colour here. It's not a duochrome or anything, but it's beautiful. <laughs> Look at me, I should have got a piece of paper. I love my grey, grey um, shades. They're just beautiful and it's got a little hint of, hmm, maybe a bit of silver in it as well. But I think it's absolutely beautiful, this palette. This was actually one of the newer palettes that I bought because I never had it in my collection. I thought I must. But that is so beautiful. So that's a Mothership for Decadence. Okay, my peeps. So the next palette that I have is this one here. Another absolute gorgeous one. And this one is the Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction Palette. And I love this. This red, this red in here is just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning if you put that all over your lid. Check the brown in the crease or even this one here. This red is stunning. I've wiped my hands off a little bit guys, but I have to, I just feel like dipping my fingers into all of these shadows when I have her stuff, honestly. I'll try on the back of my hand here. That's a shitty swatch. <laughs> I'm no good at swatching, but that is stunning. What do you think? I mean, it's gorgeous. It's goldy red. I love it. That is my favourite colour in this, um, my favourite colour in this palette. Besides, obviously, all of these other lovely shiny ones here. Oh, and this one here. I need a clean finger. I will wash my hands. I just feel like, you know, dipping into all of them. <laughs> I love these, these beautiful ones in, in the corner. And I love the mats, Pat McGrath's mats, guys. You cannot beat them. Let's keep going. Okay, my gorgeous peeps, another beauty here. Let's open her up, another one of my faves. Check that blue out, guys. So this one here is the Mothership One subliminal palette. And I think, was this the first one she came out with? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's the first one she came out on uh, with the Motherships, but man. That, that, I actually had another one of these and it got broken, so I ended up buying that one. Why is all these really yummy ones all, I've got to swatch it. Where can I put it? My dresser? <laughs> I won't do any more swatching, guys. I might go and wash my hands off, but yeah, I think this is stunning. Let me hold it up closer. Shifts and then they're just, oh. And this, this one here is just gorgeous. I've got to get my finger in there, guys. I've got to use my thumb. Oh. Take that away. Check that out, guys. Check that out. Where am I going to put this one? put it here wow wow I mean you can't really see oh you can bluey silvery amazingness I am a shitty swatcher guys I am a crappy crappy swatcher okay so don't judge off my swatches these are gorgeous all of these mats beautiful um, I love this one here this taupey color I love taupey colors too so this is the perfect palette the blue 
oh my gosh the electric blue check it out guys so worth it you know i love it brow bone color i don't really do brown bo brow bone cover <laughs> colors but yeah sorry for all the dust in it and stuff but yeah let's move on that is all of my motherships i think i think let me move this out of the way bloody hell for me shocking janine shocking Okay guys, so um, no particular order, I will move on to the medium sized palettes now. So this one here is called Bronze Nectar. And this is a highlighter palette here, and I love this palette guys. It still gets used, I need to use it more often actually. You know, I'm getting too much into all, my, all of my um, other ones, <laughs> my indie brands. But uh, yeah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I am going to try and go on with this one. This is my fave. Oh my goodness, guys. Check that out. Check that out. Now, I'm going to try and swatch that on my hand. I'm, I'm practicing my photography skills too, guys. I'm noticing that not only am I a shitty swatcher, it's, it's more stunning, it's gold, it's greeny, it's everything. This is a gorgeous highlight palette, guys, so, yeah. I was thinking, why the hell is it so dark? The freaking light was battery was out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyway, um, I have these two uh, okay shitty plastic palettes, which I haven't even touched yet. These are the Eye Ecstasy eyeshadow palettes. I don't like these, but I will use them at some stage. They're so tiny, like the, the palette size for the cost. I will use them. They'd be good to actually go on my bag. Yeah, I might do that. So that, that one there, there's a lot of complaints about these actually. I've never seen anything so cheap off Pat McGrath. That one as well might go on my bag. These will be a good bag traveling ones, guys. This one here is called the Eye Ecstasy Submersive. Okay, so. next one we're going to go for, guys, is Pat McGrath's Submersive Lightly on Rose palette. Ah, this is a beautiful one. I actually had two of these. Now, this is a gorgeous one here, guys. Beautiful, punky pink, um, lovely matte there. Yeah, I I actually, to tell the honest truth, I have not reached for this at all. <laughs> but I will, I will. I just find, you know, I've got so many eyeshadow. I love that. Oh, give me anything with apricot in it, guys. Anything with apricot in it. My goodness, isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. Yeah. I love this. I will, I will, I will get back into using all of these. It's funny like that though, you know, like you have all your palettes and they get stuck in your bloody back of the drawer and then you don't open them. So it's kind of like, oh my gosh. Yeah. So this one here guys is the Pat McGrath's Mothership Subliminal Platinum Bronze. Now I like this palette guys. I really, really, really do. It's beautiful. Sorry for my dustiness. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. And I've, oh, those topies in there, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Check out that brown. It's a really bronzy brown palette. Oh my gosh, I need this palette. I need to reach for it more. I might, I might keep it on top of my drawer actually. Oh, why haven't I used you? Oh my gosh, guys, you would not believe it. <laughs> I stopped for a little break. And see this mic here? I don't know if you can see here. My camera, my camera fell and damaged my drawer. So, yeah. Oh, 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 I found another palette. Okay, guys, so I found another palette in my stash. This is the Mothership Mega Celestial Divine. You know, the one that everyone is so unimpressed about. I haven't even used it guys, I haven't even used it. It doesn't look tempting, I mean it does. I haven't even taken the plastic off the mirror. <laughs> but um, 
I think it looks so budget. The, the box is cardboard. So thin. Check that out. It's just not typical Pat McGrath quality. And I was so disappointed in the shades. I mean, I mean they're gorgeous. They are, but they look standard. I like that one there. It's nice-ish. But it's not, it's not Pat McGrath quality, if you know what I mean. I mean, the whole, it's got a lovely big mirror in it, but the whole packaging of it, you know, for the price, guys, remember this is an exp expensive, expensive brand. For the price, not a fan. So, let's get to the smaller palettes, the mediums again. So this one here is my favorite favorite medium palette guys I love it these mattes in here oh my gosh you could just use that in that and and biff on a bit of whatever in the center it's just absolutely gorgeous I love 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 this it's my favorite medium and possibly palette maybe <laughs> okay guys so the next one we have in the medium section is the metal morphous palette let's open it up I love this one. Check out that one there, guys. OMG, have you seen a silver like that? Oh, let me see if I can swatch it. The swatches are actually better when there's nothing else in the camera. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that silver. It's gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, beautiful. I've got to dip into this more. Even this one here. This beautiful purple. It's a purple with a pink in it. Purple to a pinky shift. I'm not a professional swatcher guys, but this palette here is beautiful as well. Love, love, love. Zero mattes. No mattes in it. No mattes. Okay, let's move on. Here, Pat McGrath Sublime Golden Opulence Palette. This one is so dusty. <laughs> this one is so dusty. And that's gorgeous. Oh, got it the wrong way. That's beautiful, you know, I love these mattes. I think these mattes are actually in another palette of Pat's, that brown, those two browns. But yeah, beautiful palette again from Pat. Love it, love it, love, love the golds, you know. Love that, love that, <laughs> love it all. Oh, it's so dusty, sorry guys. Okay, my gorgeous peeps, so time to get on to the smaller little palettes now. Um, got this beauty here and this color here is iconic illumination that's gorgeous beautiful 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 reddies love that red I think that red might be in another one eh love it gorgeous I think that's a dupe in another one as well but that brown's gorgeous so yeah that's that one okay my peeps so we'll go on to the next little quad here so this is the gorgeous Venus and Fleur's Luxe Quad Voyeuristic Vixen and I did wear this in a makeup look it's beautiful 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 look at those sparkles guys she is gorgeous that one there gorgeous check that out it looks so so shiny Slippery, wet. <laughs> I love it. Let's see if I can swatch that. Crappy swatcher. Oh, I should just give up on the swatching to be honest. This shade here is a little bit chunky, but still gorgeous. You can apply it, guys. You can apply it. It's, it's amazing. Gorgeous look. The matte. Oh, you can create so much with that one. So the next little quad we have guys is this one here, 
again another beautiful beautiful one this one is called celestial divinity quad like squad collection interstellar icon so interstellar icon is the name of this one i haven't even touched it yet guys can you believe it that one's calling my name that one's calling they're all calling my name no mats this is a shimmer gosh i need to do a look on this it's beautiful look it's still got the bloody plastic on the mirror Fucking hell. that is a beautiful palette this one gorgeous i love it <sighs> Moving on guys, moving on. Okay, next one we're gonna go into guys. Oh, wrong way. It's this gorgeous one here. Ooh, check that out. Look at that purple. So this is from the Celestial Divinity Quad, uh, Lux Quad Collection as well. And this is Fleur Fantasia. My goodness, beautiful. Check that matte out. These are shimmers. Joe, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, you can get the I have to swatch this. I think my finger's dirty. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous palette, guys. Another stunner. Okay, my peeps, so the next little quad we have is this one here. Another gorgeous, beautiful one. And this one is Ritualistic Rose. It's beautiful. No mats. Just all stunning. Look at those pinks. Oh, the gold, the bronze. Gorgeous. I love this palette as well. It's beautiful. Our next one is this one here, and this is called Nocturnal Nirvana. Check that out. Oh, I've got to do a swatch of this blue. Love that. Love that. Crappy swatch coming up, guys. <laughs> I should just give up on the old swatching and stick to the fingers, eh? But that is a beautiful, beautiful palette, guys. Shifts, uh, everything. Look at that one. I have to dig in. I just, oh, another lovely green one. Look at that. Okay, my peeps. The next one we've got is this one here, and it's beautiful. And this is from the Celestial Divinity Luxe Quad Collection, and this is Risque Rose. I haven't even touched it yet. Look at that. Can I do it? Oh my gosh, very chunky. Oh! Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's silver to a pink to a gold. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I must do a look with this one. I haven't even used it yet, guys. It's one of the new ones, so. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love it. That would look perfect with that. That in the crease. That to deepen out the, up the outer. Um, inner corner highlight. Possibly um, bottom lash line. I love it. Look the again. <laughs> Funny, eh? Okay. okay, my peeps. So my last medium quad I have is this one here. And it's called the Divine Rose Luxe Quad. Eternal Eden. And it's another pinky, gorgeous, rosy one. I've, I've, I've used this. <laughs> That's stunning. Two mattes in here, gorgeous. That one has a goldie in it. I wish my camera could pick up shifts. Does anyone know how pack cameras can pick up shifts? Because I don't. But that looks lovely, eh? I like that. Gorgeous, beautiful. But so this is one of her latest highlighters that came out. It's not the latest. It's heavy as it's champagne gold skin fetish sublime skin highlighter, and it's beautiful. It is gorgeous. I don't really reach for this much. I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe because I think it's too special. No. <laughs> Into that. It's actually made out of metal, guys. So this one here is a Divine Rose highlighter. This is beautiful, guys. This is stunning. This is so nice on the cheeks. 
It really, really, really is. It's it's pinky, it's goldy, it's really, really nice. I love it. I love this highlighter. Very, 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 very beautiful highlighter this one is, guys. Okay, my gorgeous peeps. So next up we have a highlighter. This is one of her newest ones. Uh, this one is called Divine Glow, Skin Fetish Divine Glow Highlighter, Golden Nectar. And I think this is absolutely beautiful, guys. It really, really is. I mean, it doesn't look much in the pan, right? It looks standard, hey, standard. But when you put it on, all oh, my fingers are dirty. Oh! Sorry for doing the fingers, I don't mean to. <laughs> and that is not even capturing the reality of how gorgeous this is, guys. It's this finger. <laughs> so it gives you the most golden glow. I looked at this highlighter when I first bought it, guys, and I thought, oh, oh, it's nothing compared to the, uh, you know, gold one. <laughs> or that one, which is my fave. Boy, I am not joking, guys. This highlighter is no joke. <laughs> it's beautiful. Moving on guys to blushes now. Um, so I have bought quite a few of her new blushes. I love her blushes. Um, so this one here is Desert Orchid, eh? So let's check that one out. Now that is lovely, isn't it guys? It's a, what would you call that? I would call that a, try and bring it closer. Tanny, it's more of a brown. So that's it there. See how it's more browny, but it's beautiful. I mean, what an interesting color blush, right? And she's gorgeous. I love it. I love it. Perfect for those nerdy looks, guys. So this is another blush, and this is called Flirtations. Let's open this up. Ooh, another gorgeous out of it color. Um, I would say that this is a more brownie to a dusty rose, very slight dusty rose. It's very nudie, very nudie, and I love her blushes. Her blushes, guys, are just the bomb. I love them. So the next blush I bought, guys, was um, Nymphet. Check this one out. Now this is a true dusty rose, this one. And as you can see it, I mean, I don't need to do a swatch for you, but it's it's a true dusty rose. Gorgeous. These blushes, guys, have got pigmentation, blendability, gorgeousness. I I just am in love with these blushes and, the, you know, and being powders, because I do love my powder blushes, um, they just blend amazingly. Let's, let's move on, guys. Next one we have here is Love Struck, and I love this one. It's very bright, bright pinky pinky, you know. It depends what kind of a look you want to want to wear. I love this one. Go lightly on it if you have to. Um, yeah, and it's just it's truly amazing, honestly. Really, really good one, this one. Okay, my peeps, back to it again. Um, third to last blush. This lovely blush here, guys, is called Paradise Venus, and I think it is lovely, lovely, lovely. It's more of a darker brownie colour. Check that out, guys. Are you auto-focusing, you stupid bastard? That's it there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Really brownie. I, I actually haven't seen blushes of this tone before. And I, I really, really love it. They go on so well, guys. It's beautiful. They're now, this one I wear a lot. Second to last blush, guys, um, is Nude Venus. Now, I wear this one a lot. It's very beautiful. I put it up there like that. It looks really dusty rose in the viewfinder, guys, but in reality, it's actually very browny and more brownier than dusty rose. And I really, really like it. It looks really good. Excuse my dustiness, dustiness with any, you know, check look. It's beautiful, another gorgeous one. Blendable, everything. Okay, my peeps, so the last blush I have is, what is it? Divine Rose, of course. 
and it's a gorgeous dusty pink again absolutely love this one I mean if you see the colors of all the blushes besides that really shocking pink one you know they are similar but they, they don't look similar on the skin guys just beautiful I got every single color I think I think I did I hope I did I am dying for her stuff you know her concealer is my favorite and yeah so look at my hands hope you enjoyed this lovely you know my a little look at my collection of Pat McGrath and all of the eyeshadow palettes blushes and highlighters I have of hers I hope I haven't missed anything out and the next one will be we will choose another brand and I shall do that this is what I need to deal with in my lip gloss drawer that is why I am not pulling out anything um, it, it goes further than that by the way it goes further than that it's way at the back there it's huge and that's not the only one guys there's another one there's another one sorry for the poor lighting I thought I would just show you guys why I am not going to be pulling out all of my lipsticks and stuff like that there is more in there lippies, dubious places, stuff like that it's insane, hope you enjoy Mwah.